released their landmark album, Definitely Maybe. Can you believe that? Ten years? Wow. Let's have a look at them in action. I'm down with the Manchester. You don't say down in Manchester, dude. Hey? You don't I'm, say down. I'm like Bez. <laughs> no, you're not. That's another band, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noel Gallagher. Underneath the landslide, the champagne supernova sorting. See what I'm saying? You see what? You see, I've got it going on right now. The old oasis going on. Check it out. <laughs> now you know. Next time your mad brother does something daft, give me a call. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Since uh, definitely maybe it's gone by like that, hasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. There's a DVD out this week which commemorates 10 years of Oasis. That's great. Which is, uh, I mean, it really is. It, it, I cannot believe it's 10 years. It really seems like it's only three or four. Well, it's, it, it, somebody asked me what was the greatest achievement I think the band have ever made. I think it's to have that album still talked about after 10 years. Yeah, it? well, it was the definitive album of that period. There's no doubt about it. And it still stands up today, I think. Yeah. Mm. By saying that, do you mean that your other albums haven't been as good? No. <laughs> I mean that other people prefer that one. Yeah, well that album, you know what it is, is it's like, it's the reason why so many people are divorcing their missus to go back to their 16 year old via Friends Reunited. Your first love stays with you. Sorted. Oh, what <laughs> um, uh, it was a fantastic album, you must have known at the time, presumably. No, 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 it is a fantastic album, oh. it was a fantastic album, it is. A well it was and it is. And it still is. Yeah. When was the last time you sat down and listened to it? Uh, I don't know. So it's that good, eh? Yeah but, I, yeah, but I've got other things to do, like doing other records and, yeah. you know. Well, I listened to it about a week ago. I put it on again. To, and you it's know what? It's having it, isn't it? It's fantastic. It is, it is great. It took me a while. I, I wasn't kind of on board when it first came out, because I was kind <laughs> of like still clinging to the past. You still Swede, weren't you? All that nonsense. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was, <laughs> yeah, no, I was still waiting for Bowie to bring a new album out, no, but he wasn't tight. You're, no, you're a proper Blur Shandy boy and all that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now listen, you know, Blur. Uh, Ever drop a raspberry in the top of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the in the lager. Put a grape in the top of that, John. <laughs> hey, why are you doing an Australian accent? <laughs> That's an Asian accent. Um, come on, Blur a great band, you've got to admit that. They are a great band. They are a great band. Yeah. That was so weird, that period where you were kind of pitted against each other, I guess by, by the media. Well, by, by, yeah, by one guy from the enemy and one guy from Blur, yeah. And did that, by, from Blur? Mm. Who was it from Blur saying that? The singer. Was Damon saying that? Saying what? Saying that you, there was a rivalry between the two of you. No, he started it. He didn't say anything. He started. He start, how did he start it? Well, I don't know. But anyway, that that was nice. Never mind. Listen, I mate. don't know. But anyway, <laughs> Gallagher. Why are you calling my friend Damon for? I say friend. We're not really friends, but you know, I'm I'm hoping he'll use the number I gave him. <laughs> well, he is your mate. He looks like one of your mates, doesn't he? What do you mean he looks like one of my mates? <laughs> Sandy boy. You mean smartly turned out? Well, we call you Sandy Pants up in, up in Manchester. Well, uh, that's quite hurtful, I'll be honest with you. Well, big deal. <laughs> I, I don't think Sandy. 
and sometimes I don't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you didn't want to take out with you, is it? No, I didn't. Um, you know what I, I, I thought of while I was listening to the album? I, I may be wrong with this. I think Liam's voice sounds better on that first album than ever since. Uh, well, not I mean, what you say, is it, it sounds good now as well. I'm not saying, but there's something about that first album. I well, he was only, I think he was only 19 when he recorded that. And he's, I don't know how old he is now. How old are you now? How old, how old he is now? Are you want in real years or reading age, are we talking here? <laughs> no, I I'm, I'm not, I, I find, so he's be 33. 33. <laughs> so, I mean, you would sound a, a better singer at the age of 19 than 33, wouldn't Maybe you? Maybe so. I was wondering whether it was like a commitment to the band or the way he was approaching life then. I wonder whether, you know, because he's been through an awful lot. You both have, but he's been through a real roller coaster, it seems. Same as me. Yeah. Same as me. No more, no less. Oh, all right. I'm not trying to say he's had a harder time than you. Look, this oh. is your classic sibling rivalry at work. <laughs> I can't even say he's had a worse time without him wanting a piece of the action. <laughs> What, now, what's going on with him at the moment? How's his mental state? How's his emotional state? How mental is your, state? Yeah, how's your working <laughs> relationship? <laughs> working relationship? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Uh, he's, uh, his mental state is uh, its very, very Salvador Dali at the minute. It's a very abstract, very surreal, lots of milk. Well, well, the last conversation I had with him was a real proper in-depth conversation about cheese. <laughs> with, yeah, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I know for a fact, he knows nothing about cheese. Well. <laughs> You say that. No, well, I, you know, you know, I'd curled his little moustaches and then I left him. Has he got a moustache now? Salvador Dali's gone. Well, come on, John. You know, I always felt a bit sorry for you being stuck with Liam. Because um, he's a great looking guy, great frontman for the band, terrific voice. But clearly, you know, as we all know, you guys have had your moments. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is there nothing you can do about that? Can't your mum have a talking to him or something? My mum's worse than he is. <laughs> My mum, that's where we get the foul language from. <laughs> I mean, you may laugh, but she'll be watching this tonight with me. It's your fault. What's your mum's name? Uh, Dave. What's <laughs> your mum's name? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about some of the things, some of the experiences you've had over that ten year <coughs> period. Um, because there was a documentary film that came out uh, about a year ago or two years ago called Live Forever. Yeah. Which, which uh, tried to document that period that we think of as being associated with Brit pop, which was that that's, phrase. That's what it became known as. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now, there was one particular moment I remember, which I mean, it did seem like a heady whirlwind. There was a lot of stuff going on. It was a kind of excitement, and I don't know how it felt being right at the centre of that. I imagine it was quite confusing. It was quite, no, it's quite calm. You know, in, in the, I think some scouter once said that, you know, the calmest place is in the, the eye of the hurricane, you know? Right. And it was, it was very calm for us. Not, not, not calm in a flame bridge and you know, putting lemonade in the top of our lagers kind of calm. Yeah, well, yeah. You weren't shaving your pants. Well, no, well, you know, who yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah. you lot yeah. down there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was quite, we, were, we, we, we knew that we, we kind of deserved all the accolades we were getting, so we were having it. You know? but, yeah, but you did, but you were so arrogant about it, I think a lot no, of people... No, 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 it's not arrogance, it's self-belief and there's a difference, you know. Yeah, it's hard to see the difference sometimes. <laughs> well, it is for you, because you put raspberry in the top of your lager. But no, no, <laughs> with the sandy no, 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 and the no, 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 wash. No, 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 is if, you'd wrote, if you'd have lived forever, you'd have been walking to a different tune the next morning. Have you tried elderflower cordial? <laughs> While we're on the subject well, of coffee drinks. No, but I know for a fact you f have. I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's transformed my dining experiences. Well, you dine on it, do you? No, but I have it with perhaps a light avocado salad. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's the bomb. Avocado salad? Yeah. <laughs> Come now. You and, avocado salad. you and Damon come round one day, we'll make peace, we'll have avocado salad and a little bit of elderflower cordial. Is it a deal? No. <laughs> what happened with, uh, now, now you used to be with uh, Alan McGee's label, Creation. Yes. Okay. Are you still, you're not still with him or you are still with him? No, that, that collapsed in a, a fit of laughter about uh, four and a bit years ago. But he basically found you guys and helped kind of nurture you and develop you? He, um, yeah, he, he, he didn't. Did he find us? Yeah, I suppose, in, yeah, in respect to the people that, you know, we, he kind of, he walked into a nightclub we were playing, he offered us a record deal, we accepted, yeah. yeah. Did, were you waiting for that to happen? Did you think you were ready already? Were well, you we, we only ever went uh, to one record company uh, ever with, like, a demo asking for a record deal, and that was Factory Records in Manchester, who um, told us we were shite and uh, sent us.